transmission expert. <laughs> hey, George. And this is a replacement for your J here. Or I, I know the J is so perfect, he didn't want to bring it here and show up the rest of the group. <laughs> right, right, George? A fantastic transmission seminar yesterday. I learned an awful lot. Hey, Mike. Don't forget, I know where you live. That's, that's just fine. Come on up and I'll learn some more. <laughs> Good seeing you. Thanks. And there's, there's a Jack Wilsey there telling about the 380 horsepower when he kicks around about 140. You get it almost sounds like you're going to, the front I, end lifts up. I cheated. I bored it out. <laughs> <laughs> Still a Hemi, though. Yeah. So anyway, uh, nice array of three, 300s here. And Bill, I was telling him on the way, if you put your air on high, you freeze your earlobes in your seat. Yes. But Carlton Schroeder and I from Minnesota and Wisconsin, we can freeze our earlobes without the air on. Uh, <laughs> this car looks nice. You know anything about these air cleaning? Uh, what, what, do you, what do you know? Want to well, know about? I mean, uh, he was just saying they're, they're crooked, and I, and I thought, well, were they that way in '58? I mean, uh, no, they uh, almost uh, have to be because. Actually, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna shut down here. We were talking about the air cleaners, Bill. Yeah. The guy that restored this thing was working cockeyed. He put busted new wipers in a busted windshield, like in the movie Christine. You remember? <laughs> no, nice D and and. Uh, did you know that the D has improvements over the C? Oh, yes. They have these right. stiffener bars. Yes, they do. And then they have stainless steel when you open the door so that when the water runs off the windshield, it runs out of the car instead of on our C's, it runs into our car. <laughs> you know what, if you open the door, I don't think maybe we should, or you're, you know them well enough. <laughs> you see right here these stainless oh, steel things? Oh, yeah. So the water runs out outside instead of inside. <laughs> Improvements from the 57 to the 58. What we were talking about, I was talking about these. The struts, and they have struts under the fenders, too. Yeah, that's right. Dude. But I took some out of an E or something. But maybe this should, I think, have strut rods underneath here, unless they did yeah. that in 59. You got to yeah, ask one of the one of the tech tech guys on that to be sure. But it looks like all the 58s got these, right? It's yes. Like the 57s did. No, they didn't. But his, his car does, but he may have added. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was the 300E that had the support rods also under the fenders to stiffen that front end up. 392, 380 horse. Yep. Maybe he's got the bigger, bigger output see, generator. Yeah, the generator's see, long. It goes rear through past the carburetor. This one is canted. See, the rear one here is canted. Maybe because of the TV. Oh, because of the holes, yeah. Because the heater hose there a little bit. All these little things. What a beautiful white 300D. And the steering wheels on the D, they were tan on top and black on bottom. And the 3 is just 300C, the 57 is just the opposite. Nice car. And, and another one here, this is a stock piece right here. And if you want to win trophies, you got to use Brasso on it. <laughs> you see that there? That keeps the, the belts from wearing a hole in your heater hose. When you're running hard against the Corvette, you kick her down and run up to 140, the belts might just ripple a little bit. And you want to keep beating him, you don't want to have smoke. <laughs> right, Bill? <laughs> yeah, here's, a, here's a C with the factory air. And it doesn't have the, uh, have the piping there. He's got the 58 valve cover, or maybe late 57. Exhaust the oil back in the engine there. He put an alternator on it too. Very nice. Proud there too. So. Rob, but a beautiful, beautiful car. And I want to thank you for that wonderful thing you did last night as oh, you're DJing. Welcome. It's a that, pleasure. That, that that Jeopardy thing you did a fantastic Thanks. job. I love it. Everybody has to go. Oh, that's man. the main thing. And you got a beautiful car here. And this is the feature car on the t-shirts. I bought a number of t-shirts. So Thanks. I have the memories of this meet here, Rob. Great. Thanks. Rob Kern here. And, and your wife is Marnie? Marnie. That's Marnie. Great. Just like yep. the Alfred Hitchcock movie. But you better think <laughs> yeah. that. Beautiful car, Rob. And, Thanks. Uh, yep. Thanks for asking me about some of this stuff here. Because I don't know everything, but I do know, uh, you know a fair amount about well, of these cars. Well, you're one of the you experts know. on seats. Yeah. I love them. I dream about them almost every night. <laughs> Boy, Lynn is really into this, huh? Didn't know it. Anna Marie. 
Well, he's really into that. It about takes 30, about four minutes 30 years from now, he'll, 30 years from now, he'll say, my grandpa bought it brand new. <laughs> and this was available in 57? <laughs> right, Lynn? Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> Add the hard luck trophy there. That You don't need a hard luck trophy anymore. I had a rotor there for you. And you, and you don't owe me anything. Actually, you know who's going to get the hard luck trophy? Roy? Who? Oh. I'm getting the hard luck trophy. You know why? I had a rider on the way down and spilled four cups of coffee in the passenger seat. Who you know who that, that would have been? Who, who, who would that be? <laughs> Reverend I, I, Fly drove down with uh, me, who, who is and that? I only had one rider with me, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, Brian? I get the hard luck trophy because he dumped four cups of coffee in the front seat of that 68 convertible. And, and here, Ed had a bad rotor, so he thought he was going to get the hard luck trophy. I had one in my toolbox for him, so we're all set, right, Ed? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, so you can't get the hard luck trophy anymore. You don't have any hard luck. <laughs> Bad rotor. He has multi-spark on there, right, Ed? <laughs> multi-spark with the old one on there. That's Wiggle about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you never know. Hey, Put it in there because it might work. You might, yeah, you might need it on the hey, side wait, of the right road. Wait, wait, here. Here, here. Take it. Put it in your glove box. You might need it. I don't think I got yeah, the same I one. I need no, you have a different I one. I got a different one. one. This things go wrong with your car, say like you have a leaky radiator. Carry 25 gallons of antifreeze. The next time the water pump goes, water pump, fuel pump on another trip, then you burn out a valve, carry an extra head. So by the time you get, you get overloads in the back of it. You got, <laughs> you have every part to help everybody out. <laughs> Talk about, about it. Too. Talk about overload. <laughs> Take care, Let's get a little bit of rubber on the way out. <laughs> Dan, what a fantastic afternoon. Don. What a what a great afternoon hold here. That, hold that. <laughs> <laughs> Keystone and Jim Jim Golden. What a great afternoon, and we have uh, Lynn Zimmer Drexel here. What a fantastic day. I'm going to shut down for now, and we're going to get on here later here and get some more. Yeah, more, more. What? We're going to shut the camera down now. Why don't you get a cigar out of your mouth, sir? You no, talk. no, no. I got to put the camera down so I can smoke the cigar. I'm. I have a little Polish in me, so I can only do one thing at a time. Uh, I see. <laughs> so we're going to check out. Well, while you have that video, <laughs> Runner, make sure you understand that this turkey can't eat. Good afternoon, Sheriff Royer. We just had a, we stopped at the Branson Cafe, and we had zucchini and, oh, tomatoes. Oh, you guys, you missed something. The that vegetable beef soup. Town. Oh, yeah. And anyhow, we're uh, here at a little car museum here, right? And, and we, the reason we stopped here, that Reverend Ply saw a Tukey Buick he was interested in. At and 46 yesterday I was walking, uh, looking for the Chrysler 300 people, and I found the most beautiful 1979 Rambler Concord. Mm. So we're here to show Forrest the car. Let's take a peek see. <laughs> when, when Forrest was young, he used to sing a song, Lord, I was born a Rambler man. <laughs> Had to do a living just the best I can. <laughs> 54 with a 55 DeSoto grill. I wonder if it has a Tootsie Roll pop shifter in it. Daryl's a Daryl Powers here is a 50 Ford man. Oh wait, it's got a Pontiac 54 Pontiac rear end. It's a 51 Victoria. So the they they have the Tootsie Roll pop shifter yet in there, Daryl? No, it's gone. They 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 it's, it's, this is a, one of those resto rods. And the shifter, somebody stole the Tootsie Roll Pop shifter off it, Mark. Really? Yep. 54 Pontiac here. Star Chief Catalina, two-door hardtop. 65 Plymouth here. Sports, here's just a Fury 3. Clean one here, Ply. And it's got a 318 because there's no commando emblem on the grill on the hood there. So she's a 318. Well, it looks pretty darn nice. Fury 3, it? yeah, it does. Yep. What do you figure, Ply? You could drive this home. Ply? You could Mike, spring. What's this, what's this about here? That's optional. It, it's an optional really? bumper guard, yeah. Huh. See, I've never seen one of those. Really, that's, that's an optional. That's a, that's that's a bumper nice. option. There might be, be one on the roof in the back end there, too. 41,747 miles. 318, Ply? Runs great. There's only 5,600 of these convertibles built. Wow. Yeah, get the optional bumper guards in the back there too. That's a nice, nice, nice car. Nice shape. Yep. 40 Chev here with 46 taillights. It's got an earlier 39 or 40 front end on it.
There's an old tornado and a Concord, a couple Concords here, Ply. Wow. Look at this here, huh? What do you think? Still thinking? Look at this car here, Isn't Ply. That a nice little car, really. What do you think about that one, Ply? Yeah. And what about the colors, Forrest? Still colors? thinking. Yeah. Well, and, I prefer the darker colors. And, and Ply, what do you think about this one here? Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. You don't like this there color? You are, right there, there you are, Ollie. There you are, Ollie. Hey, a big cattle you rack. like these colors for us? It reminds him of his bedroom slippers. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I actually I prefer the, uh, the darker one. How about this, this Harsky, and, Harsky and Stutch Torino here? Oh, yes. well, it's a Torino Ranchero. Look at 78 Lincoln Continental here. That looks clean, the sunroof in it. We're at a little car museum here in, uh, in Branson. There's some used cars outside here. 49 Chev. That's a banana back. 49 Chev banana back. A nice 69 Chev pickup here. Yeah, it is a nice truck. And a 55 Buick Century here. Buick Century. That's the original car, just done a little bit of touch up work on it. And 13.9. There's all the info on it. Good afternoon, Bob Schmidt here from 57 Heaven. How's Bob doing? Not too bad. We, we saw your, 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 your savory six or your Belvedere down there in, <laughs> in the lot there and adding the to old toys and more. So this must be more. Yeah, this is more. Yeah. A lot more. Actually, the, the new Power Flight was sort of like a toy, was it, in yeah. 1956? She sure looks sharp. The car may be used, but the Power Flight is new. Bob Schmidt here, this is 56 Plymouth, and if you had 12 or 13,000, you could be an owner. Wonderful little museum here, and if somebody wanted to come to Branson uh, and go through, what does it cost to go through this museum here? It's $13.95. Very good. And uh, Bob, she's going to let me come through and do some advertising for her here. <laughs> and that's so. Where's the best place to start? Right up here? Yes, yeah, yeah, here and then just walk okay, up. Okay, we'll do that, Bob. Thank you. And you're part of this museum here, too, aren't you, Bob? Well, I clean the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so come come on in here and. Uh, oh, I usually got to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hot rod stuff you can buy here, sure, uh, transmission uh, adapters and here. small block Chevy stuff. Well, the office, you know, in there. Oh, okay. All of them. Uh, we have about 100 vehicles. Wow. Uh, are they all owned by the museum or consignment cars or the things various, like that? It kind of depends on the individual. Okay. Car. Which is your favorite? This red vet right here, I suppose, huh? No. <laughs> My favorite is the 69 Camaro back there. We'll have to get that on here. It's got an orange and white racing stuff. Is it an RSSS convertible? Okay. Reverend Ply, have you, you enjoy the vehicles here? Well, And here's a 56 Merc Mercury. <laughs> it didn't look all that close. Yeah, he had to go to the bathroom instead, so he didn't see the cars. Ferrari here. And a 54 Chevy couch for 4,500 bucks. A lot of nice toys, old toys. The difference between men and boys are the price of their toys. I think if you were a boy and wanted some of these, these boys' toys would be fairly expensive. And they're looking, they're even buying more. Looks like these are some show cars here. There you go, Ollie. 72 Buick Riviera out of Death Race. There you are, Ollie. Look at that. 
that's thick metal. There you go, Ollie. Got a sidewinder on there for cleaning the gutter. Show cars. I think you'd love this one here, Ollie. This is a Road Rager Special. Kind of give you the edge in all the vehicles that are in the freeway down there in, in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And of course, every collection needs a General Lee. 69 Charger and a 70 Camaro here. Fifty-five Chevy two-door sedan, sixty-four Al Camino, fifty Merc, some cycles here. Two thousand one Camaro SSZ twenty eight fifty seven Chev Bel Air Tudor hardtop. This looks like a, oof, some GM here, maybe a fifty four Chev of some sort. With a Budweiser trailer. I wonder if see if it's any Budweiser in there. Ah. I don't like Budweiser. Some people do though. 61 Impala steering wheel in there. That's pretty nice. 63 Chrysler 300J. I hear this one has 24,000 actual miles on it. Got the only engine that came in the J's. 390 horsepower 413 cross ram. Short rams. Tell they're flat on top there. Tells you all about it. You threw 300 guys, you know all about this already. Red claret interior, claret leather. 63 300J. 64 GTO. 389 tri power. Sixty-one bubble top Impala. The optional bumper guards. This one's powered by a 283, or at least that's what the grill says. Forty-six, seven or eight Ford soft shell. Looks like it's a 47 by the, the information there on it. The 32 Ford High Boy with a flatty and a couple of them. Offenhauser heads on her, headers. And it looks like two Stromberg 44s on there. So 36 or 7 here. 37. Wild Rod Pickup. Fifty-four Buick here. Fifty-seven Buick grill in it. Nice done custom like. Fifty-five Buick. Fifty-seven Buick trunk. Sweet. Thirty-two Ford Roadster. Forty Ford here, and a thirty-seven Ford Wild Rod Custom. Thirty-two Ford Five Window Coupe, a small block Chevy in it, and a Elbrock carburetor. Uh, 
Awesome. Evil Knievel, there you go, Ollie. One for you here. One of one. And look at this. Ah, little coffin, too. It's got a 50, 54. They got this is wrong. It's a 55 DeSoto 291 Hemi. DeSoto Fire Dome 8. The 32 Ford. Let's see if I can just see that engine number on there. I guess I can't quite. I'm not going to step over the line here. Cute. Wow, that's sweet. A little DeSoto Hemi with six Stromberg 97s. Wow, look at that. <laughs> wow, that's pretty wild. 59 Star Chief, four door hardtop. 64 Buick Riviera. We got a real ornate hood ornament. Piece of jewelry. 62 T Bird. And Earl Wilkins for back home in Virginia. 54 Plymouth Savoy. Tudor Post. 67 Fairlane here. Like about a 70, 71 uh, Olds, Olds Cutlass or 442. 72 442. There you go, Ollie, a 74 Evil Knievel Caddy pickup. Ollie Knievel. <laughs> Sixty-six Olds Tornado and a fifty-eight Lincoln Continental Mark III convertible. Sixty-seven Mustang here convertible. Thirty-five Ford here and a forty Ford. Fifty eight T Bird Square Bird, as we refer to fifty eight, fifty nine, and sixty. Here's a Graham supercharged Graham four door sedan suicide doors. And here it tells all about it forty one Graham Graham Hollywood. Sixty-nine Chev pickup there, and a fifty-four fifty GMC pickup, a fifty-eight Chev pickup here. First year for the dual headlights, and this one's a V8. See the hood emblem there with a V under it. Probably a two eighty-three. That's a Cameo, fifty-eight Cameo. Wow. An old Plymouth here. No Hudson, Hudson pickup. Like a 40 Plymouth for a while. Hudson pickup. So 47 or 48. Let's see what the sign says. 41. I wonder it looked different on the front, kind of like a Plymouth. Mike, you're getting rusty. Chalmers G. Rear engine. Wow. Neat, neat setup. 
the remodel A. Farmall Cub. VW Powered. Race cars. 62. Bel Air Bubble Top 409. 409 horse, dual quad. Should have silver painted valve covers and different air cleaner, painted air cleaner. But these are kind of resto mods and customed up. Z28 here, 69. The gal up front there at the desk there said this is her favorite. She must have had a ride in this one. Memorable ride. 66 Mustang convertible. Daryl, there's a 50 Ford convertible. Oof, there's a nice one here. 67 Impala SS convertible here. Marina Blue, whoa. It's a nice looking car. Even though they made 10,000 of them, fairly common, but boy, it sure is nice. 72 Monte Carlo. There's a Lincoln V12. Lincoln Continental, probably a 41, 40 or 41. Let's see what the sign says on these. 40s, 40 Zephyr Coupes, V12s. Fifty Ford, Eldorado Brome, fifty-seven or eight. I think it's a fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. This would have the three sixty-five uh, tri-power Cadillac V8 stainless steel roof on it. Uh, it says on the three sixty-five cube. Uh, Three two barrels, 335 horsepower. I think they made four or five hundred of these things. That's all. 58 Eldorado Brome, a four door. The 46 or 7 Lincoln. And a 36 Ford original Cabri Cabriolet, unrestored. Wow. Uh, fine one, not done like this. Wow. There's a new Camaro, 59 retractable in black. Fifty-five Beller Coupe. And boy, this is a, a real rare car if it's original, a 58 Impala with fuel injection. It would be a 283. And those, <laughs> when it go more power, they would go with the newer 348, which was carbureted, so very, very few. <laughs> wow, this is a rare car if it's the original 283 fuel injection car in an Impala. The 348 put out more horsepower, so most people went to that. Wow. Very nice. Vintage Outboard Motors. Sixty-three Stingray here, split window. The only year of the, the split window, sixty-three. This is a 67 here. Oh, 
chrome bumper. Let's see. Side here. 427, probably 67. There you go, Ollie. A Martian taxi. There you go, Ollie.